Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be making some amazingly delicious fish pies. So if you guys would like to see how to make this, keep watching. To start this recipe, I have four pieces of kingfish. I'm going to salt, add fish seasoning, add any fish seasoning you like, and give that a massage. I'm also going to go in with some green seasoning, and I'll mix that in, and then set the fish aside and allow it to marinate. You can do this overnight or for a few hours before you actually cook the fish. Then we'll place it, once it's finished marinating, in a pot, no oil, so use a non-stick pot. We're going to put this over a medium heat and we're going to cover and allow this to cook. You want it on medium, medium, low. Make sure and check it, you don't want it screaming hot where the fish burns. You want it to start to steam and allow the fish to cook until it's done. I'm just going to go in and check it. And I'm removing the skin and I'll clean it, remove the bones, flake it and set it aside. When you're finished flaking the fish, set that aside and then to the same pan, we're going to go in with some oil. We're going to go in with finely chopped onions, pimento peppers, you can also add hot peppers in here if you wanted to. A scallion or scythe chopped, minced garlic, and sauté. I'm going to add in a little bit of salt and allow that to sauté until it's very tender. Don't want it to burn. Now once it's tender, we'll go ahead and add in our flaked fish. To that, we're going to season with cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, fish seasoning, and Cajun seasoning. Mix, mix it in really well. Once mixed in, you'll go ahead and taste it. Adjust your seasonings if you wanted more of another seasoning, and then set this aside. In my bowl, I'm going to make my dough. So to my flour, I'm adding yeast and baking powder. I like doing the combination with some salt. Give that a mix and you're going to take lukewarm water and add it a little at a time. Now, different brands of flour would use different amounts of water. So that's why I'm not giving you an exact measurement for water. So what you want to do is add a little and mix, a little and mix until it all comes together into a shaggy dough and then you'll start bringing it that together into a bowl. So you want to massage that really well. Make sure you get a really nice soft dough. Bring it into a bowl. And then we're going to cover and allow this to rest. If you don't need the flour properly, you're not going to have a good outcome when you fry it. So allow it to rest for about 15 minutes. Once it's finished resting, we'll go ahead and break it into small dough balls. I like to break my dough balls about two to three inches, depending on the size you want the pies. I like them more on the smaller side. So about two inches would be perfect. Once you've finished breaking out your dough balls, it's time to fill. You're going to take the dough ball and open it out. I would say about three inches in diameter. Put your fish filling as much as you like or as much as can fit in there and then bring up the sides to close it. You notice I'm not using a lot of dry flour here. I'm doing that because I don't want the pies to open out when it's frying. If you use a lot of dry flour, it's gonna prevent the dough from sticking 
and then it's going to open out in the oil. You want to press it out to distribute the filling. You see how easy that was? And now I'm going to continue filling the rest and then we'll move on to frying these on a medium low heat. You don't want your oil to be screaming hot. You do want them to take their time and allow that dough to cook. And you're going to fry these until they're golden brown on both sides. Then drain and set aside on your paper towel. How easy was that guys? I can't wait for you all to try this recipe. Try it, let me know what you think. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Do remember to stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.